NFL playoffs, MLK Day volunteering, smoothies, all this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Let's go. What's up, Novi? Next week, Student Mental Health Committee will be hosting a self-care week. Tuesday is relaxation. Wear your pajamas and bring a blanket. Wednesday is positivity. Wear your favorite tropical clothing. Thursday is de-stress, so wear purple. And Friday, of course, is green and white day. Hey Novi, I'm here with two amazing members of our Wildcat family, Alex and Yusuf, who have an amazing volunteering opportunity to share with you. For potential volunteering hours on January 15th, MLK Day, we have a total of six different organizations you can pick from, all at different times throughout the day. So this will be a great opportunity for you guys to give back on MLK Day. For more information on the organizations as well as the timings, make sure to scan the QR code. The new avocado smoothie is back, along with three other delicious flavors, like tropical, strawberry banana, and mixed berry. These smoothies include many yummy gummy food options, like pineapple, banana, avocado, orange, mango, and blueberry. And they are made like Little Caesars, cold and ready. Isn't that so exciting? I can't wait to drink all these healthy smoothies with my friends at school. You should come get one too. They are available during all lunches in the wild green section. And something else, they are so cheap, so you can get that yummy taste in your mouth. And it's like you're paying nothing. Come down now and get some smoothies. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to Who is Novi's Favorite Rapper. We are now at the end of the semifinals and the votes are closer than they've been. Taking a quick look back at round one, Drake versus Travis Scott, that vote was within a 2% difference and Kanye versus Kendrick, that was about a 4% difference, but now it is time to vote. Game five semifinals, Kanye West versus Travis Scott. Who do you think took that game? Two great artists. I'm more of a Travis Scott fan right now, but I'm, I'm gonna say more people choose Kanye. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as Braille and I think the vote went to Kanye. With the 51.4% of the votes, the winner going on to finals was Kanye West. I asked for another favorite song and you guys said I Wonder and that was tied with Runaway. Another favorite album was My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Game 6, the last semifinal game, Eminem versus Playboy Cardi. I don't even know how Cardi beat Lil Wayne, so I'm gonna have to go with Eminem. I'm not saying that Cardi's a bad artist, but how did he beat Lil Wayne? Like, come on. I'm kind of surprised Playboy Cardi made it this far. You know, he's really popular, but I'm gonna go Eminem. I just, I mean, he's the fastest rapper, I think, probably ever. Ever. Uh, he made eight mile, so I'm gonna come in. I personally don't really know who's gonna win because I, I also thought that Lil Wayne was gonna be Cardi, but Cardi won with like 16%. Surprisingly, percent you know, with Eminem beating Post by 80%, it's probably gonna be Eminem, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys next week for the results. What's up, Novi? Welcome back to Cat Diary Reviews. Today, we are going to do a mid season review of the Percy Jackson show. They are doing pretty good with it. I know some people think that the acting is not the greatest and that they try, they drift off a bit too far from the books, but I think that's okay. I actually think that's the beauty of television. The story, the way it's set up, I'm actually enjoying it. I personally like the like Greek mythological stuff. Like I, I love all that stuff, so it's nice kind of just seeing it on a screen. It's always it's always appealing to me, whether it's a game, movie, or show, just seeing it. Uh, if many Many of you may not know, some of you may know that uh, we have a Novi Wildcat that is in the show who plays Annabeth, daughter of Athena, Leah Jeffries. I think you should all really check this out. So far, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. We'll see how it goes at the end, but I think it'll be great. Check it out. See for yourself. Support our fellow Wildcat, and we'll see you later, Novi. How's it going, Novi, and welcome to the first ever NFL Game Day Playoff Edition. Starting off, we have the Browns against the Texans. A couple weeks ago, the Browns had Joe Flacco, and he's been amazing for them. He's going to get them one more win and hopefully play the Ravens next round. Give me the Browns. I hate the Browns. Go Texans. I also hate the Browns, but there's something about Flacco, man. Give me the Browns in this one. Next game we have is the Dolphins at the Chiefs. The Chiefs do have Patrick Mahomes, and he always plays well in the playoffs, but I think the Dolphins just have too much firepower on offense this year. Give me the Dolphins. This is the Tyree Kill revenge game, especially because they didn't have a very good game last week. They're going to have a great game this week. Give me the Dolphins. The fact that this game's on Peacock makes me mad, but uh, the Chiefs will win in Arrowhead. Next game we have is the Steelers at the Bills. 
The Bills are a good team. I'm a Steelers fan, so I'm going to homer this one, giving the Steelers. The Bills won the division last week uh, in the final week of the season. They're going to get another win this week. Give me the Bills. As we learned from my college football playoff picks, I'm incredibly biased. I'm also a Steelers fan, so give me the Steelers in this one. Next game we have is the Packers at the Cowboys. A longtime NFC rivalry, but it all depends on how well Dak Prescott plays, but I think he plays well enough to get a win over the Packers. I think the Cowboys are for real this year. I think Dak Prescott's for real this year. This is a Mike McCarthy revenge game as well in Dallas. Go Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys are undefeated at home. Uh, as much as I hate them, give me the Cowboys in this one. Next game we have is the Rams at the Lions. This is going to be a great game with Stafford coming back to Detroit. But if I'm going with my gut, I'm going to go with the Lions on this one. There's a lot of storylines in this game. There's a lot of storylines in every game this week, but especially this one. Stafford coming back to Detroit, like Braylon said. Goff playing against his former team and his former coach. Lions atmosphere is going to be insane. The fans are going to be wild. I think they could pull out one more win. Give me the Lions. Stafford versus Goff, but the Rams, they have two elite wide receivers in Nakua and Cup. Give me the Rams in this one. Last game we have for this episode is Eagles at the Bucks. The Eagles have been really bad recently, but I still think that they will take a commanding win over the Bucks. Like Braylon just said, the Eagles have been on skid row for a while now, and Baker Mayfield is awesome. I love him. Go Bucks. Yeah, the Eagles have been absolutely crumbling. Give me the Bucks in the upset at home in this one. Thanks for tuning in to our NFL playoff episode. We'll see you next week, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Thank you to all the Cat's Eye News journalists. That's it for today, Wildcats. Anything to add? All right, we're out.